you doing? Back zoom out so much you can see me how hard I've been here. Are you getting this? Yes. Get this! Damn it! The rock better, broke. Need a better stick. Uh, I hate this little stick. Look at this. What is this? Gunner grip. <laughs> Gunner grip stick. Hmm. Give me a second. Oh, you got the tool. Huh? So, either I didn't put Loctite yet because this is, this is new. I'm still figuring this knife out. So it moved over a little bit, but just tightening again and centering again. And then, of course, no blade play if I do that. So, let's do some Loctite on the pivot. Pretty impressive, huh? Lom Tata. So it's only VG10 and 3D uh, millimeters. Let's try some more. Pause it. Can you see the edge? First, tell me if you can see the edge. I guess there's uh, some 
It's a reflection, but this is the factory edge. So this is not a uh, sharpened edge. So it's a little soft. Don't drink the wire, dumb dog. Go over here. Anyway, <laughs> stand back a little bit, okay? You're gonna have to stand back a little bit. Just taking off chunks at a time. And uh, it's the same, really. You see it? Can you, are you seeing the edge there? Mm -hmm. You sure? You got it? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. How much I do with it? That's it. Buddy. So, you see? Mm -hmm. I think the edge is rolled right here. It's rolled over, definitely. Can you see? Can you see? Are you sure? You're focusing? Mm -hmm. Right here, it's kind of curved over that way now. But that's okay, I'd rather it roll than, than break and chip. And uh, besides, are you still recording? Besides, you could just, once you sharpen it, you can make the angle lower. Because it's a very thin slicing angle anyway. And this is still hollow ground. Okay. Using a sage to start a fire. So, there's the Neptune dog. So anyway, now I'm gonna try, uh, this is just here in the backyard, uh, you know, uh, just wanna show some of the prying uh, aspects a little bit better of this Bob Lomtanto. Uh, just to first do this to show that the, you know, that the wood is pretty darn solid. Okay, so now, let's get in there. Now, people always say that the pivot's a weak point. You know, and that's true, but you know, you, you could just opt to not push on the pivot, but push on the blade itself. Uh, so that's like an interesting little, you know, note, you know, so. Let's see, let me switch hands, a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. Let me find a good spot right here. Uh -huh. See, there's that tip, the camera go. Nope. Not the knife. Good news, right? Look at that, that's, that's right there. Tip is still fine. Now, later I'm gonna reprofile the, the bottom edge of the VG10. Because uh, it's a hollow grind, and it's a thin slicing angle, I'm going to raise it uh, maybe like 30 at least, so that this way, less chance of it, uh, of it uh, rolling. Like I said, a VG10 is nice because it's, you know, as an outdoor knife, this is good steel because, you know, it's very corrosion resistant, which I like. Plus, it's soft enough to, you know, to easily sharpen, get a good razor edge, you know, and rather than chip, it'll roll, which is all good things if you're looking for like a outdoor knife, you know. Uh, a lot of like people who do bushcraft, they specifically want steels that are easier to sharpen because you know of that aspect. They don't. They want a knife that they can sharpen easily, um, not have you know not to have that basically like a diamond rod or something. You know, like a tool steel doesn't really belong in an outdoor setting, uh, as opposed to maybe like a uh, um, you know something of a more of a corrosion resistant steel like N690 CO, which they say is stain proof, or this VG10. Uh, you know, because you know, it's it's just more. There's nothing you're gonna be cutting that needs such tool steel ability uh, compared to um, if you're indoor settings or maybe perhaps in the military, a tool steel would be more important. But like I said, and uh, just to show, let's see if I can hold the camera. No blade play. No blade play. The uh, the blade play that developed from last test just because the pivot. You know, it's a female and a male. Yeah, here's the female, and uh, it doesn't had it didn't have Loctite because uh, I'll explain that when I get into the knife. But it didn't have Loctite, and uh, when I first got it, and I didn't put it in yet. But this time I put Teflon tape, so now the pivot is staying in place, and it's good. Okay. And one last poor tree. Uh, I have to thank you, thank you tree for letting us do this. Look at that. Just easy, just easy through trees. Especially soft ones like this one. Okay. So, I kind of already knew that because the VG10 is soft and it was more likely to roll over, that you can do it this way of sharpening. 
uh, by using the bottom of uh, something ceramic like a, a mug or a cup, uh, which is nice. And uh, my way of sharpening still is to pull it towards me because then I can I can see the angle like this and then pull it and this is the way Mel does it too and uh, just depending where your other hand is it can be dangerous because you're pulling it towards you but generally speaking you know no problem and uh, I've been doing this for a while now and you can see uh, you can see the, the mm -hmm. metal from uh, me doing this and then make some paper Aha. wait okay stop I don't get wet. I will note about sharpening on anything ceramic is you push too hard and you you know you might dull the edge. So it's kind of better to go like a medium to light pressure. Ah, all right, it's good enough. Okay, wait, I'm gonna cut. Okay. Okay, you see right here? You getting this? Can you see? Oh, it's easy. Look at my hand up here. Not hard. Hmm. Ah, let's just whack it. This I know is going to roll the edge. You see? Come in. Can you see? It's right there. Meh. Let me get the camera. Looks like a little. Uh, it's more like a a bend. Yeah, like a roll. You see? Yeah. That's barely noticeable. You can't really see this why it's like a. Yeah. You can see it right there. Not bad, VG10 steel. Yeah, it's good.